Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. This is episode 18 on the Fullcraft 3 server. And today we're going to continue on with the advancements. If you recall, I've been started working on these advancements. We finished up to Ender IO Con. I had to skip some of these, and I went on to Batania. If you don't know, Batania is not my favorite mod. Um, so we're trying to work on some of these things, and it looks like I think the next thing we want to do here is try to get a runic altar, because a lot of things depend on that, and a lot of things uh, take the runes that are created from the runic altar to make other things. Like, for instance, this, uh, make a functional flower. To make the flowers, you've got to use runes. So we're going to work on this one first today. But before we get started, I want to say thank you to everybody who has been liking this series and liking the, the videos I've been producing. This series, uh, with people kind of AFK from the server here, um, really AWOL, uh, it's kind of lonesome. I'm always the only one on anymore. So, yeah, uh, we're just not doing very much except for doing these advances until people get back on and we can do uh, some pranking and that sort of thing. Um, it is ideal to do pranking, but... And I've done a couple already, but uh, if they don't get on, it doesn't really work. <laughs> so we're going to wait for a little while. So uh, another thing I wanted to mention was that on September 8th and 9th, I will be in Chicago at Mine Fair, M-I-N-E-F-A-I-R-E. -E. If you go to their .com, you'll uh, see the uh, date and times. I will be probably manning a table of some sort, maybe even doing a panel about Minecraft and YouTubing. So if you're around in the area and you would like to uh, meet me, maybe talk with me for a little bit, um, it would be great to see you. So hopefully we'll see you there. Okay, let's get started. Between the last video and this, I added another mana pool, and you can see this, they're filling up pretty nicely. I also added this mechanism, which will drop the coal, and so to keep this going, and then when they consume the coal, the pressure plate is lifted and so it drops a couple more that way it's always putting out just enough and it's not despawning so it's pretty neat basic redstone there but it works fine fantastic so we're generating mana at a pretty good rate i mean it's still slow but we're generating at a good rate anyway i wanted to make this runic altar okay so if we go back here runic creation is a rather Im important complex yes it is and we got to guess i read this before doing it but basically, you get runes out of this. So let's get a runic altar. Let's see what it takes. Runic altar. Okay, the runic altar takes living rock. We got that. And a mana pearl or a mana diamond. And basically, how do you get that? You take a diamond and you throw it in there and you get a mana diamond. Or a pearl, I would assume. So let's get a pearl. Which we have more. We have more diamonds. Let's grab a diamond here. Oops, that's a slow. I think all you do is you throw it into here. If you can hit it. And there it is. We got a mana diamond. That was pretty easy. Now let's take that. Go in here. Like this. And there we have a runic altar. No real achievement for that, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to put that, uh, I don't know where. I would like to put it up here, but I don't know if I need the space for other things with that. So I'm going to put it right here for now. Maybe I have to... Yeah, let's put it over there. It probably takes mana, doesn't it? Let's put it by the, the uh, mana pools. We'll put it, like, right here. There we go. Okay, we now have the Runic Altar. The next advancement I was thinking about working on was the one I was pointing out. Making a functional flower in a petal apothecary. The one I was looking at from my... Uh, looking through things, it was called... This. The Tiger's Eye. Uh, basically, this is a flower that, when placed, will keep creepers away because it it simulates a an, like an ocelot type of thing. Now, if you look here, these we can get pretty easy, obviously. But we need to get a rune of autumn, and a rune of autumn takes a rune of air and a rune of fire and spider's eyes and some leaves. So, a rune of fire and a rune of air. We're gonna make those two first. So, let's do a rune of fire. It takes nether brick, gunpowder, nether wart. Mana steel and mana powder. Okay, so let's get some of that stuff here. We have another wart, another brick, and I lost what it was. Let's see, rune of air, of fire. We're doing right. Yes. Uh, Gunpowder and mana steel. Okay. Get some of that. There we go. Mana steel. We're running low on mana steel and. There's infused mana metal. We need powder, right? Mana powder. Taste gunpowder or redstone 
and that to make. So let's do a let's do redstone. We have tons of redstone. Let's do that. Now, does this thing work in stacks? Basically, let's see. Apparently, it does. Look at that. Ooh, sparkles. Okay, so we got pretty much everything here to make the rune. So we got to get some water, which needs a bucket. Okay, we got some buckets here. There we go. Okay, let's start this process. I don't know why I said I needed a bucket when we're using a runic altar, but that's okay. So it takes that. One of those. One of those. Let's see. One of these and a man of steel. Yes, now how do we run it? Uh do I have to do it with an open hand or something? Let's see. Or do I have to use a wand? Let's try the wand. I'm not sure how this works. Hmm. Alright, the items are there. Apparently it says that you should have a mana spreader pointing at it. So let's do that. Let's grab this guy here. And point it at that. And I guess it will eventually give us what we want. Uh, you can see it looks like the rune has got a little... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's going all the way around the little counter. It's about halfway done now, so we should have a rune here shortly. And it's about three quarters of the way done. And it's almost done here. And hopefully we get this rune of fire. Great. And then you hit it. It looks like a wand, so we'll hit it with a wand. Okay, why isn't that working? It says little plus a... Living, oh, living rock, is that what it's saying? Living rock? That seems kind of weird. Uh, let's go grab a living rock. I don't understand why that would be necessary, but... Okay. We've added living rock to it. There it is. Hit it with the wand. There it goes. Okay, so that worked. And we got another achievement. Drop, drop, drop pop candy. Okay, I'm going to make the water rune next off camera. I have the two water runes and the two fire runes. We have to make now a rune of autumn. Okay, if you look that up here, the rune of autumn, it takes fire and air. We got those spider eye and three leaves. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. I'll take one of these, one of these, a spider's eye and three leaves. I should be making stuff right now. I'm not sure why it's not. Let's go back up to here and look. What are we missing here? Runic Altar, Rune of Fire, Rune of Air, Spider Eye, Dark Oak, various leaves. We got leaves in there. I don't see what it's doing. Let's see, is the wand just taking the wand or something? No. So now why isn't this working? I don't know. I gotta look this up again. Wow. Okay, that was my fault, like it usually is. It actually was a Rune of Air, not Rune of Water. So I'm finishing up the Rune of Air here. Throw this in here. That, there we go. And we should have the Rune of Air. Excellent. Now, this should work a little bit better. We need to get the pieces we need here. So it takes one of those, a Rune of Air, Spider Eye, and three leaves. And there we go. It's going to make the Rune of Autumn. All right. We're almost there, guys. This is awesome. I finally have the Rune of Autumn. And I have the petals I think we need for the Petal Apothecary to make this flower. So we're going to go in here, and it's one of... Yellow, one brown, one orange, one rune, and then one lime. And of course, I need seeds, which I didn't get. I knew that was coming. There we go. We do this, and boom. We got the achievement, and we got the flower. And where did it go? There it is. I'm going to put that down right here. There it is. It's our tiger's eye plant. And if you look here in the advancements, we got that. Okay, let me look now of all these. We're slowly getting through this. Let's, I'll look through these and figure out which one I want to do next. Okay, the next one I think we're going to try to do is make a spark to help transfer mana around. I don't know how to use the spark, but I can probably figure out how to make it. So let's go into here and let's just see here. A spark. Uh, we got all of that, I think. Well, there we go. That was easy. That was easy because it was just all the crafting grid. We didn't have to use the Petal Apothecary or the Runic Altar or any of the mana stuff. That's just typical crafting. And we got a very simple advancement. Okay, now i got to look for another one. That was just too easy. The next one we're going to try here 
is this rotten heresy and chocolate. Infuse and eat a delicious biscuit of totality. When I go into here and look at the biscuit of totality, it's pretty easy. Just take a cookie in the mana pool and gives us the biscuit of totality. Do we even have a cookie? We don't. We have to make a cookie right here. We need a bakeware and cocoa powder. And I think we have bakeware in our kitchen. Let's go see here. Let's go look around. Where do we have, we have any tools? Bakeware there. Can we make a cookie? No. We can make sugar cookies. Does that matter? Let's make a cookie. There we have cookies. Now let's see if this works. I'm curious. Otherwise, we've got to make the other cookie. So I wonder if we throw this in. If it counts as like all cookies, like the uh, ores have all the similar stuff. Let's go try this out. It probably won't work, but we'll see. Here we go. Yeah. It doesn't like sugar cookies. That's just too bad. Okay, so we're going to make a cookie, a real cookie. It takes cocoa powder. And how do you get that? It's just cocoa beans and a mortar and pestle. We can do that pretty quick here. Do I have the mortar and pestle in here? I don't see it. Okay. Well, let's make one. Unless we have one already. And it's not that one. It's this one. There we have that. And let's get some cocoa beans. Okay. And we'll make that. There we go. Get a stack of that. That's good. Okay, and then so we should be able to make the cookie now, right? Is this the right cookie? Yes. We need bakeware. Give me that. I'll put that back in just a second here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Cookie. Boom. We got our cookie. Put the bakeware back. DSA would be very upset if I left the bakeware out. Where did it go? It's probably in my... There. Oh, there we go. Okay. Put the bakeware back. There we go, DSA. Just for you. It's all put back. Okay. Let's go take this cookie and see if we can get this achievement or advancement. I keep saying both. Please excuse that. Here we go. And boom. Now we have it. We haven't consumed it. Let's eat it. It won't let us eat it. Biscuit of totality. Thought we just had to make it no infuse and eat which we don't we gotta wait to eat it darn it okay i'll just have to wait for a few minutes or get myself injured so we can eat let's try that out i'm underwater so that i will eventually take damage and with the damage then i'll try to heal myself up and when i try to heal myself up it'll use uh, the food which will give me room so i can eat the cookie right that's the, that's the plan anyway let's go back up here and you can see I'm damaged, and now we have room to eat a cookie. And there we go. We got that achievement. Excellent. Time to move on. The next advancement looks fairly easy as well. This one is craft an assembly halo to facilitate crafting. And if you go out to here and hit the assembly uh, halo, it takes a mana pearl. And that's just an ender pearl thrown into mana pool so let's just do that right now let's just throw the stack there we go so we should be able to go over to here really quick and make this right here we don't have a crafting table really <laughs> now that surprises me okay there we go we made that not sure what it's used for but we did the advancement so we'll probably have to use it for some other things coming up. Okay, we got a little bit more time. So let's uh, do some more advanced. Let's see how far we can get here. Okay, I think this next one's kind of silly. Uh, let's see. Potato. Here we go. We're we'll going here. We're going to throw a potato in. And look at this. We get this tiny thing. Let's put it over here. Look, it's a tiny potato. Oh, just be friends. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so that advancement was over here, and it was this one right here. Just be friends. Make a tiny potato and pet it. Aw, there we go. <laughs> this next achievement is also seems to be very easy. We'll take this, and we'll create a mana pool like that. 
There we go. Put the potatoes away. And you make a mine cart. Looks like that. There we go. And we're going to make this mine cart with mana pool, which is the two together. And there you are. Another advancement. We're doing pretty well here. You can see we've gotten a lot of these. This one's very hard to create. Um, I should say very hard, but it takes a lot of space to create this one, so we're going to probably do that later. So it looks like I'm going to do this one, maybe. Create Mana Weave Armor to power up your rods. Okay, so let's look what that is, because I am not knowing what that is. Mana Weave Armor. Hmm, a robe. Well, that's kind of cool. What does that take? It takes all this Mana Weave, right? And how do you make that? It's Mana Infused String, which is just... Oh, that's easy. Okay. So let's take our string here. Let's do a couple stacks so that we have a lot of this stuff here because it probably will take that. Let's throw it in here. Look at that. Ooh, that's quick. That's quick. That's fast. Boy, it's draining that pool of mana though, isn't it? But fortunately, we can take this wand and we will shift right click and say go back to that again. We're not using the altar. And they'll start stocking that back up. Okay. So now, with this, we get a bunch of these pieces of armor, or I should say the uh, mana weave cloth, and now we can make uh, the robe, right? Which is what I was going to do first, the robe top and the robe bottom. Here we go. Let's do that. Let's grab all these mana weave pieces, you know? Let me go actually search on mana weave. And there's the cloth, there's the cowl, the top and the bottom. We just gotta make the cowl. And then we have the whole set. Awesome. Okay, now let's uh, see here. Did that get us an achievement for it? Probably. Let's just make sure we got the advancement or that we did. Let's go take a look at what this stuff looks on us, okay? Uh, I need that and that off. Here we go. I am the Mano Weave Bunny with Yoda on my back. <laughs> we are back at using the Runic Altar. Right now I'm making a Rune of Earth. Okay, it's almost done here. And there it goes. Put in the Living Rock. Hit it with the wand. And we get uh, the Earth. Okay, what we're making here next is a Rod of the Lands. This one right here, it just takes the earth, the twig, and some dirt. So we should have enough of that right now, too. Maybe not the twigs, but we'll see. The earth is in there. Let's grab it. Uh, sorry, grab it. And we need to get the twigs. We got some living wood, though, so there we go. We're going to make the rod of the lands. Not sure what this is used for, but there we are. We have the rock bell. Now, this advancement was located here off of the runic altar, and I'm assuming all of these things take the runic altar. So what's this one? The... Mater Stranded Girl. Craft and fire a mana blaster. Ooh, a mana blaster. What does that take? That sounds cool. Blaster. Takes uh, wood, 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 a rune of mana, a diamond, and a TNT. Well, the diamond's easy. So we'll do that really quick here. We'll just throw that in. Uh, let's throw it into this pool over here, since this one's kind of high up. There we go. Got plenty of that. And now we need to make a rune of mana, huh? The rune of mana takes... Oh, uh, I'm out of mana steel ingots and a pearl. Let me figure out how to get the mana steel ingots. I use my supply that I have, but I don't remember how to make it. I'm going to do that right now, and I'll show you how. So, mana steel just takes iron. There we go. And it makes what you want there. Seems interesting I didn't get the whole stack, but that's okay. We got enough for what we're trying to do here. So now we're going back to the uh, Rune of Mana. And if you recall here, it takes four of those and a pearl. Do we have a Mana Pearl? I thought we did. I don't see it on me, though. So let's grab those. There they are. Okay. Back over to the Runic Altar, people. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And a one of those. And there we go. It's going to make this. And when we get done, we'll have a Rune of Mana. All right. We're good to go. Let's make the Mana Blaster here. There it is. We're going to grab it. Oh, man, I need more Living Wood. No, I need a Pulse Mana Spreader. I didn't see that. It looks so close to these. 
Takes a mana spreader. Okay. And then we need to get that with redstone. Makes a pulse mana spreader. And then we should have the mana blaster. Okay. Do how do you get it filled up with mana? You put it in here. Is that what you do? Oh no, I don't know how to use it. I've got a mana gun and I can't use it. I gotta read up on this one. Alright, I think I need a mana tablet here. I think that's what you use, and I think this has to get charged up and then use this in your inventory. Let's see, if I throw it in this one here, does it not do anything here? Ooh, what was that? So it was doing something there. You can see it had a little spark to it. Let's throw it back out there. There it goes. Okay, so I, I'm picking it up faster than that. So, oh, hey, stop that. Give me that. Okay, let's put it in here. Stand back a little bit. Yeah, you can see how it's drawing power into it. That's probably enough for what I need, though. Now, apparently, if this is in my inventory, the, the gun here shoots it. Look at that. Ow! But apparently what this device is is actually a mana. I give mana to devices. I can put mana in here. But there we go. We have the mana gun. It's another gun. I should just, like, take this with me and prank people when they get on. I'll shoot them with the mana gun. It's very cool. And we got the advancement. This next one is going to be a little bit involved. We can do this pretty quick. We're going to make the Romeo and Cinderella advancement create a politisic Isisiac? Whatever. I can't pronounce stuff. Get love in the air. Now, this thing is kind of crazy when you make it, okay? So, it takes petals. Red, pink, and orange. We got that. Rune of Fire. We've got that. So, that's pretty easy. What we do is the Rune of Lust. Uh-oh. We're getting kinky here. And this takes diamonds that are infused. We've got those. It takes a Rune of Air. We've got that. We need a Rune of Summer. So, we're going to make this next. Rune of Summer takes some sand, slime, and melons. And we need a rune of air. We do have that. And a rune of earth. And we have that. So I need to get some sand in my inventory here. Okay. Sand. Not sandstone. I need sand. That's sandstone again. It moves on you. Okay. We got the melons. And we needed, what was it again? Slime balls. And air. Because, you know, love is in the air. Right? And of earth, I believe. So here we go. I'm going to throw it in here. That one. Wow, gave me the right kind. And two of those, and one of those. And what was the other one? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot already. Ah. Takes the summer, right? Summer, it takes, oh, slime ball. Yeah, I got that, there we go. Great, we're gonna make the, this rune, and then we're gonna make the next rune in just a second. Okay, put the piece on there, and you hit it, and there we go, we got that rune, the rune of summer. Now we're going to make the rune of the lust, I believe it is, and this one takes um, the diamonds, right? Two of the diamonds, and the rune we just got, which is the rune of air, I believe it is, and the rune of summer. So put that there, and that there, and there we go. And this one takes a little bit longer, you can see it's taking some time, we'll wait for this one. Right, here we go, put it on there, hit it with the wand, and let it fall to the ground. Okay, so now we should have everything we need for over here. We just need to get some water, which means we need a bucket, right? Okay, here's a bucket. Get it from the sink, put it in here. There we go. Okay, it takes two red, two pink, an orange, the rune of fire, and the newly formed rune of lust. There we go, drop a seed. And we just got that advancement. We have made this flower. Not sure what it does. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that awesome? That one took a little bit of time, but now if you look here on the advancements, we're getting this stuff done. Um, this is kind of difficult. I should say time consuming. This one is two, which is Terra Steel, which we've got some sub achievements to do there. So what's this? Craft a botanical brewery and use it to create a brew of any kind. A botanical brewery? Wow. This thing. Brew stand, a rune of mana. We can make a rune of mana and a block of mana steel. We can make a block of mana steel. Okay, we got that. And uh, let's see here. A rune of mana, again, is just that. So I will go and make that really quick. Okay, a rune of mana. Hit it with that. Hit it with the wand. 
there we have it in our inventory. And then I believe if we go here, we can just make the brew stand because we have most of the other stuff now. And there we have the brew stand. I'm going to put it right over here. Awesome. Now that we have that, we have to make a thing of any kind. And I'm not sure what that entails. Uh, it makes this. What is this used in? How about that? Ah, okay. So we can make various things here. Like a flask of fleet feet or vial of vigor. That looks pretty cool. Any flask. And then we put the nether warp blaze and that into it. Does this have an interface? I don't know. Uh, let's get a flask. One of these here. Alf glass. Oh, we can't make that. Okay, so let's see. A vial maybe? Is that something we can make? Glass, we can do that in there. So let's do that. Let's get some glass. Oops, let's go into here and get some glass. Okay, and I don't want to do all this. I'm just do like three or four. Let's do three. Okay. And then that in here. Uh, don't give me that. Don't give me that either. It gives us some mana glass vials. Okay, so we have that. And do we just put this on here? There it is. Okay. And if you remember, that recipe had glowstone, redstone, and uh, nether wart. So um, I need to go in my crafter gear. I keep forgetting to do that, everybody. It's it's just habit. Redstone, glowstone, and wart. So we put that there, that there, and that there. And maybe you have to hit it with mana. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to try this out. That's my best guess. And it looks like it's accepting it. But is that working? I don't know. Hmm. Let's go back to the brew stand again. Look at the recipe real quick before I read the manual. Well, look at this here. It's used in... Oh. What is this used with? We were going to make... Uh, no, it's not. That's the wrong recipe. It's blaze powder. Sorry. Okay, so let's see. Can I, can I shift click this? Okay, takes that. Takes that. And that. And blaze powder. And we need to get that too. There, it's doing something. Particle effects going on. Hopefully we'll get uh, something out of this here. Does it take a long time? Let's see. I don't see any like a thing that tells me what it's doing. It's like doing something. Do I hit to hit it with a wand or something? Oh, there! I didn't touch it with the wand. It just made it. And there we have a vial of vigor, strength two. Awesome! Another advancement done. Looks like we're down to doing. Making Terra Steel, or we're down to making the this right here, the Mana Enchanter. I think the next thing we're going to work on is the Terra Steel. And looking at it, it takes Living Rock and Lapis Blocks. I need more Living Rock, so let's generate some more of that. I'm running low on that too. But anyway, you have to build it on, on a platform. So let me get this started here. And once you build the platform, then you can make this plate that you use. And then once the plate is there, then you can put the items on it to make the terra steel. So let's get some living rock here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, oh, that doesn't go there. Basically you have a pattern here and there will be one in the middle. And we need lapis lazuli blocks. Here we go, 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 go. Now one more living rock in there and that forms that. Now what we need to make though is this plate, okay? And it looks like this, this plate here, it takes lapis blocks, block of mana steel we can make. We need fire, air, mana, rune of earth, and water. I know I don't have another mana, so I'm going to work on making these all these components so we have this plate, okay? And, well, of course, we'll get the living rock. Give me a few minutes. Okay, I've made the rune of mana. Let's go over here. We're going to make this plate. We got that, we got this, and we got all of this. And there we go. We have a plate, and I think this plate just goes right on here. 
Okay? Now that's the first part. Now I gotta read up on the next part. I believe you have to do some sort of powering of it with mana. And then once you have that, then you can um, get this piece that we need for Terra Steel. So let me figure this part out. I think it uses sparks, but I'm not sure how those work yet. All right, I'm not sure if I did this right. But I believe I put a spark on top of a mana pool and another spark over here, and I think that they're connected. And supposedly if you do a pearl, an ingot, and a diamond, it will make terra steel. And it looks like they are connected. That's excellent. Wow. Okay, so I don't know how long this will take. Let's give it a second, see if we can watch it. Uh, let's not pick up or anything. I can do anything with it. That looks kind of cool, though. It's a very neat effect. I don't know if that sound is like supposed to be with it. But if this completes, it should give us terra steel. And if we now know how to make Terra Steel, then we're able to make the next parts of the advancement. So let's just see here. Look, it's going green, and it's kind of sitting on it. That looks kind of cool. And there we go. I think we have Terra Steel. There it is. There's the next advancement. We got it. We now can make Terra Steel when we want. That's excellent. Okay, we're going to keep on moving here. We're going at a good pace. I know I just said, hey, we're going at a good pace. Let's keep on going. But then when I saw this, it opened up a whole bunch more stuff. And we still have this big one to do. So I think we're going to call this video right now. We're going to finish this up in the next video. And we'll be done with all the various Batania advancements. And I'll try to get through that pretty quick here, okay? So I apologize. I thought I would get it all done with it today. That was my goal, but I didn't. But we got a lot done. Look at all the advancements here that we've done. Drop, prop, scar, excuse me. Drop, pop, candy, and ecstatic vivis, vivis, whatever. Live drive, rotten heresy, and chocolate segments, blue. Just Be Friends, World Domination, How To, Imagination Forest, Rock Bell, The Mater, Stranded Girl, Romeo and Sil Cinderella, Childhood Blues, and Dancer in the Dark. We've got a lot done today with the achievements, so advancements, so yeah, excellent. And here I am in my little, like, robe bunny suit. <laughs> so again, if you like this video, please click that like button. Let me know how you think of the full craft series so far. I know we're in a little bit of a weird state with nobody showing up, so um, hopefully people will get on soon. The vanilla is kind of taking precedence right now for a lot of people. And uh, any comments, put them in the comment section, please. You can uh, tell me about all my derpiness that I've been uh, doing here. And uh, finally, hey, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, subscriptions are helping out. I'm over 1,000 now. I'm under review by YouTube for monetization, which will be another month probably. And uh, also, don't forget to, uh, if you want to show up to Chicago for Mind Fair, uh, it would be great to see you, okay? So again, have a great day, and bye-bye.